Hey, what's going on guys? It's DeBron25 here and today I am bringing you a 23-in-1 gameplay um, playing Search and Rescue on the map Warhawk, I believe. Um, I'm not going to tell you how this game ends up, but I am using the AK-12 with the silencer and extended mag. Um, perks, not really sure on the perks to be honest with you. I know for sure Amplify... Um, focus, and I know those two for sure. Ready up and quick draw. I think I have. Oh, off the grid. That's a for sure. I think I have off the grid. R ready up. Um, focus. What is that? Three, four, six. So I have two more. What else did I say? Amplify. Um. I don't know what perks I had to be honest with you, but um, my kill streaks are Satcom dogs and the Battle Hind. Um, to be honest with you, these are one of the best. Kill this is one of the best kill streak setups in the game um, for assault so far. Um, also, what I uh, I've seen videos on the I or IMS I think is what it's called the IMS and the sentry gun and the battle hind I think that's very good I saw fear cuts get 101 uh, kills with that um, kill streak setup but right here that was clutch moment already 3 0 with 400 score at the end of round one um, I have 20 kills to go <laughs> I mean you guys are gonna see how stupid I die um, I probably could have pulled off the Kim strike honestly in this game um, if I didn't die like this, because I definitely had to kill, but then, um, something stupid happened. Okay, so, um, right here at the beginning of round two, or at, when I'm on the defensive side, I always come here. Um, then I come and knife this gate, and I look across, um, to the other side of the road. I mean, I believe here in a couple seconds, maybe it's next round, I hear somebody behind me, uh, which is very good for search and rescue, is to have amplify, because that really makes it to where you can hear um, enemies come behind you and stuff. Um, right there, my little dog going ham, growling when he came up behind me. Um, but also, I got my first Kim strike on strike zone. Um, I'm going to upload that here pretty soon I don't know exactly when um, but yeah uh, the best gun in the game probably is um, the AK-12 one of at least um, the MSBS is also very good um, but the attachments on the AK-12 what you need to run is silencer and extended mags um, it doesn't do much to the damage or the range on the AK-12 like I can still kill people across the map and three or four shots just like you would without a suppressor so the suppressor just makes it to where you show up you don't show up on the enemy mini map okay so right now we only have two teammates um, and also I leave the scoreboard up so I can see what enemies are dead and what aren't so um, when you kill an enemy their name will turn yellow and that means that um, you need to go collect a tag to make it to where they can't spawn in anymore when they're red that means they can't spawn anymore so um that's how you know see like my teammate just turned yellow now it's red because they um collected his tag so now he cannot spawn in um honestly i don't know what else to talk about in this gameplay until we get to the second half um of this game uh, right now i'm just playing very passive trying to hear them I think I'm currently six and zero. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm six and zero oh with the diffuse. I'm one away from my battle hunt. Um, oh, hardline. That's my other perk I use. I use hardline. That's what it is. Um, but see, right here, I get my battle hunt. I'm pretty sure I save it. Um, right there, I just heard that kid. Um, it's pretty awesome having amplify on. Um, but on this map, you really want to just check your corners. Um, and if a bomb's gonna blow up, don't, like, if you know you don't have a chance to go to it, don't go to it, because that's just gonna make you die. Um, stay in the immediate area of where you are, 
because when the bomb blows up, they're going to be scattering outwards trying to get that final kill, and they'll come to you. So if you have a good spot when they come to you, you can get the um, final kill of that round. But in this um, round, I just stay, or in these next few rounds, I just stay in this building, to be honest with you. Um, because, it's just, see, now it's just me, because my teammates are already dead. So I have to rely on myself only. Um, there's nothing I can do versus a clan of six. I forgot to mention that um, I'm playing a full clan of six um, in search and rescue. Two of them are already prestige. One of them's level 60 of first prestige. So, and they sent me a message and asked me to actually join their clan um, because I did so well against them. Um, see, see there, my battle hind's going to work. I got really lucky on this kill. This kid um threw something it hit it was like on the doorway i blew up the thing or he double tapped x on the c4 or something whatever it was it blew up um when he tried to explode it or whatever happened and that actually helped me out <clears throat> but see right there i just picked up a tag that made it to where the other kid couldn't spawn in um what else to talk about? Um, in search and rescue, honestly, all you have to do is watch the time. Um, because when the time starts ticking down in the final seconds, you really want to get off the plant. Um, also, this is the fastest way probably to rank up in Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, currently 44 in this game, I think it says. Um, and I'm like 50 three or four and I got this gameplay yesterday so um, I'm ranking pr ranking up pretty fast without double XP um, playing search and rescue um, I failed a couple uh, yeah I failed a couple Kim strikes in this game already um, but yeah sorry if I'm just rambling off about stuff I'm just trying to keep you guys entertained um, in this gameplay because I really wasn't paying attention to how much time was actually in this video um but right here i planted the b-bomb um i believe this is a very smart decision because um they it was in the open there is no way that they were going to beat me with them being in the open um i'm 17 and 0 right now i did get a couple kills with my battle hunt but i only got like two or three so really i'm on like a 14 15 gun streak right now um, oh, and I got a kill with my dog. So, yeah, I'm still around a 14-15 gun streak. Um, just called in my dog and my battle hind at the same time. Um, in this map, you always want to put your IED right there, right on that doorway. If you're coming up here, then all you have to worry about is this ladder. Um, then you can hear your IED go off. Like, it starts ticking, and that's when you know that there's an enemy there. Um, my teammate, thankfully, was um, being very smart here. So, if I could... So if I killed somebody on the ladder, he would go and collect the tag. Um, and I skipped out right there because I didn't get um, very many kills. Um, it was part of a slow part of the game. Um, I'm currently 20-0, so you guys only saw like one or two kills. Um, but I got him from my battle hunt. I didn't actually get him from my gun. But there my dog just jumps at him out of nowhere. Um, but see, right now... There's like 13 seconds left, or no, there's 16 seconds left. I can't see because the I have a red recording word right where the time is. Um, but um, I don't I like I didn't have enough time to go out and plant. I could hear the enemies. Um, I knew how many was left here. I kind of made a push for the bomb, but I was a little late. So this is part of the reason why I couldn't get the KEM strike coming up right here. Is the stupid way that I die I mean watch this my teammate dies and then I die like immediately okay I'm walking up these stairs just minding my own business setting down my satcom turn around the corner my teammate just died oh hold on gotta set my ID down turn around the corner didn't see their ID boom blows us both up game over 23 and 1 um, actually a 2k score in search and rescue um, really in a normal search game I would have probably only gotten around a thousand score 